What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install uh, an intake scoop into your MK5 Supra. This is gonna be a very cool install, and also a subtle install. This is offered in two variants, multiple colors, two variants, one with LED and one without LED. I option with the one without LED, um, but there is an option with the LED, just requires a little bit of wiring. My Supra does have red calipers, red strut braces from Burger Tuning, those red stripes on the engine cover, because I decided to opt with the red, just because, you know, we. Have have the, the yellow and the red and the black. I think it's just like a really nice, um, you know, it, it just kind of goes with the theme. So anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to install. Let's go ahead and back the super up a little bit so we have more space to remove this front bumper. So now that we have the car kind of backed up, we need to remove all the screws. You have a bunch of screws behind this weather stripping right over here. Um, so you have like one, like, I don't know, there's like four right there. I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's a couple more over here. And if you keep moving the gasket over, yeah, there's a couple right there. And then also on both sides of the bumper, there should be two screws, as you guys can see. So you have another one, two right there another two over there and then all throughout the bottom of the bumper so I'm gonna go ahead time lapse it we need to remove all the screws to get this front bumper off and then do not forget we have a sensor on that side a sensor on that side for the PDCs so don't just yank the bumper off And just like that guys, we have the front bumper removed off the car. So pretty much where this intake is gonna be mounted, um, I think we have to remove this as well because it's gonna be routed from behind this headlight, I believe, and it's gonna come right over here. Because if you guys look at it, there is a stock intake duct right there. So I'm assuming you're gonna route it right behind the headlight and it's gonna come straight down. When I say I believe, do not worry guys, I know what I'm doing. So first things first guys, we're gonna go ahead and remove this section right over here, just so we can actually put the template down and do the little bit of trimming that was needed. Um, so to remove this piece, it's just held down by a couple, I believe like T30s. So I'm gonna go ahead and just unscrew these, yeah, two down here, two over here. All right, now that we actually removed that piece, we're gonna be using this template to do some cutting. Uh, so this little template right here, we're gonna put it right in here and it actually sits perfectly. It's literally just designed to just sit around this area. Now we're gonna go ahead and just grab some kind of uh, Sharpie or something and just get, just draw the inner circle here. So once we actually draw that inner circle there, we're gonna go ahead and just Dremel all this out. Or if you guys have a multi-tool, you can just use a multi-tool and just cut that entire section out, guys. <laughs> So now that we actually have our four holes drilled out for the screws and we have this area pretty much marked up, now we can actually use our multi-tool and just cut this area. Make sure you don't actually cut this wire, keep it off to the side so you don't you know, mess that up and just use your Dremel or some kind of tool you guys, or just use any tool that you're comfortable with. I just prefer a multi-tool. I think it's kind of like the best tool for something like this. Um, I mean, there's, there's a million ways to cut through plastic, but this is my favorite way. So now that we have the hole drilled out, now we can actually insert this guy. Before I'm actually gonna install this personally, I'm actually gonna install the red piece that goes around it. And that's literally just like four screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten that up first and then we're gonna go ahead and reinsert it and put in the four screws that hold this bad boy on. So now that we actually have the red lip on there, let's just go ahead and get it installed. So now that we have this piece 100% mounted, literally the four screws, this thing's not really going anywhere. That thing's so tight on there. So the next part is actually getting this piece in there. So we're gonna kind of just set it like this, and then we're gonna be sharing that same screw that that plastic piece was sitting on. Uh, but in the meantime, we can't actually put that piece on, so we actually put the boot back in here, um, which is this guy right over here, this little, um, whatever you call this. We got the two clamps over there, literally just clamp it down, clamp it down, and then put back on that plastic piece, and bada bing, bada bang, guys. We got this bad boy installed. And at this point, guys, we have everything reassembled. Uh, we can go ahead and just slap on that front bumper and we should be able to still see that beautiful new intake. Mm -hmm. 